around the court was great. ESPN's presentation of the Western and Southern Open is brought to you by Western and Southern. Don't worry, we speak finance. Citizen, better starts now. And Emirates, when you fly with Emirates, choose between the spectacular and the incredible. Choice, it's a wonderful thing. If you have been with us today, it's probably redundant to ask you to join us tomorrow, but I will anyway, starting at 1 o'clock Eastern Time. It'll be Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer, enough said. And Simona Halep, who has just joined us here at the set. We're going to be talking to her in just a second. We'll take on the number one player in the world, Serena Williams. Simona Halep looking very strong today. And Mary Jo, she's going to be watching herself here with the Emirates moments of the match. Well, this is what stood out to me. The most impressive thing was the way that Simona was looking to be aggressive, but particularly run around and hit the big forehand. She picked on Yankovic's forehand, but she hit so many winners from that side of the court. I love the way that she was aggressive and that she really took charge because against Yankovic, who moves so well and who defends so well, you have to take it to her. And Simona, that's exactly what you did. You were so impressive with your movement and the way that you were able to use your forehand to hurt her. Yeah, I mean, I think I played a great tennis tonight. So I was aggressive because Actually, I expected that she will be aggressive because uh, in Toronto she started really aggressive, but now she was playing so soft. <laughs> at, at the beginning, I didn't know what to do, but then I just uh, thought that I have to be aggressive to go to take the ball fast and to finish the point. Simona, yesterday you looked a little bit, you know, a little bit down. You weren't, uh, weren't that excited tonight. It was a very different story. <laughs> you were hitting the ball harder, you were hitting it earlier, and, but you looked more engaged, you looked more interested, you looked more excited. Yeah, I slept all day today. <laughs> I recovered myself uh, pretty well. Uh, you know, I, I wanted just to enjoy the semifinals because it's a great uh, result after the final in Toronto. I knew her pretty well, how she, she's going to play. So I had confidence that uh, I can win the match. I was very relaxed and uh, that's why maybe I played my best tennis tonight. I want to ask you, you called Darren Cahill, our good friend and colleague, to come help you when you were up a set in 3-2. Usually players call their coaches when maybe things are a little bit closer or if they're behind. What was the thought process of calling him at that specific moment? I just wanted to listen to him, uh, what he thinks about my game. Um, to be honest, I uh, felt some uh, pain at my leg and uh, I wanted to receive, to get some energy from him just to stay there focused, uh, to run to run for every ball and uh, to believe that I can finish very fast. How is your leg? Because you told us last night you had some soreness in that left leg. I still have uh, the pain, but uh, you know, doesn't matter when I play well. Um, I have just one more match here and then I will recover myself for the US Open. So what are we thinking about the US Open? It's just about a week away now that we begin this whole uh, effort. It's going to be two weeks. First of all, let's talk about tomorrow's match against Serena because, uh, you know, you said you went into this with a good attitude. Are you going to have that kind of attitude tomorrow against Serena because you've beaten her? I hope so. I hope so. I hope to have this attitude because I have nothing to lose against her. For me, she is the best player and uh, I have no pressure. I just want to hit the ball, to, to stay aggressive, and to try everything to win. And Simona, how important, how much was it in the back of your mind that if you reached the finals, you were going to become number two and have the number two seeding at the U.S. Open? I didn't think at all. My brother told me, because he always knows about <laughs> the rankings, he, he told me that uh, if I play final here, I will uh, be number two. But it doesn't matter at all for me. I just want to win matches, to win titles if I can, and to do some great results at Grand Slams. Simona, let's talk about your game and how, I mean, you're, you're number two player in the world, so I, I don't know how much better you can be than that except number one. But do you work on things constantly with, uh, in, in an effort to, because we talked today about you bringing the ball toss down on the serve a little bit to maybe give you a little more pop on the serve. Is that something that you're working on? Yeah, I was working with Darren uh, with this uh, thing at myself to throw the ball up, but not too high. And uh, it works really well now, and I feel uh, better the uh, serve. But today I didn't serve pretty strong. I serve more smart. I knew that if I hit slice, more slice is going to disturb her. So I did uh, pretty well. And uh, yeah, for my game, I'm, in I'm improving a lot because uh, I have to open the court more. I am not very tall, so I have to move fast and to, to close the court. And against Serena, the serve is always so important. Take us back to the season-ending championships in Singapore. You played Serena twice in one week. The first time, how did you win this match so handily? I believe that I have my chance to win it. 
hundred uh, percent I was there that I can win the match, but then in the finals I was too nervous, I was too tired, and I couldn't <laughs> believe anymore that I have the chance <laughs> to beat her again. That was, was good. But then you played her in Miami in March, and this went the distance. You were down, you came back, and it was just a couple points at the end that, that decided this match. So you have to go into tomorrow's final with a lot of confidence. Yeah, in Miami I didn't play my, my best tennis. Uh, I was, uh, you know, I was a little bit nervous and I was yeah. tired after Indian Wells. And that, that season I didn't play my best, but now I play better. I have my chance tomorrow, but I expect a tough match. With her, you never know. if you, you can win, maybe, or you can lose fast. So you've talked about the nerves now twice this evening so far. And, and obviously, you, the, the nerves are a part of everything. Don't you think that Serena is going to have nerves also because she is going for this calendar year Grand Slam and that might work for you if you get to the final with her? I would be happy to know that she's uh, nervous <laughs> tomorrow again. You'll take advantage of it, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Um, I expect a tough match. She knows how to manage uh, every situation because uh, she has a lot of experience. But uh, I know that I have my chance. I, I have just uh, this thing in my mind. And Simona, I have to ask you, you get so much support everywhere you go. Yeah. <laughs> everywhere I go, I have Romanians, yeah. You do. What's that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot because uh, you feel like you play like home always and um, many people are supporting me. They appreciate my game, so that's the most important thing for me. And it, everyone who is coming to support us, it's really nice from them. Congratulations today and good luck Thank tomorrow. You. Thank well you. Well done. Simona Halep, everybody, a winner today, relatively easy. It was not a difficult match for her today, as you know. Tomorrow she'll be in the championship match. We'll have more tennis from Cincinnati, everybody, when we come back.